Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be filming a purging and decluttering video. Spaces around my house that I've been neglecting and they need some TLC. So it's gonna be kind of like a mixture of just random places around the home that definitely needs some purging and organizing. We're gonna start off in my bathroom, so let's get started. I wanna try and get as much done as I can. But if you two need to organize spaces in your home, hopefully this is motivating and inspiring to get up and do it with me. So here's a before of what my sink under my vanity looks like right now. Not terrible, but for me, I don't know, it's all relative. So this just felt so overwhelming to me. I felt like I really needed to give this a good like purge and go through products that I know I'm not gonna be using anymore. I do get sent a lot of skincare, so when I get sent those products, I, I always go through them initially and donate or give away the products that I know for sure I'm not gonna use. But towards the left here on the screen, you can see like, all my skincare is piled up in the corner over there and that's just because I have way too much so I'm trying to downsize and just go through things that I know that I'm not going to use and then I also love rotating out skincare so I have a drawer dedicated to my actual skincare that I use daily and I'll show you that in a second but I love rotating in new products so here I am going through each and every product to make sure it's not expired to make sure I am for sure going to be using it and if not, I throw it away if it's expired, I'll donate it if it's not. And then um, once I'm done, I'll decide whether or not I want to rotate that into my everyday skincare drawer. So right now I'm just going through everything and just trying to see like what I want to keep and what I want to donate. So like I said, I love trying new skincare products, but obviously it takes a really long time for you to notice a difference when it comes to skincare. So it's kind of hard to speak on what my favorites are because everybody's skin types are different. But for me, my favorite brands right now are the Obagi skincare, which I have run out of because I get that through my med spa. And I haven't been back there in a minute, but I need to stock up on Obagi. Obagi is like my favorite, number one skincare brand. I currently don't have any Obagi right now, so I need to go back to my bed spa and get some more of that. But I also really love Elemis. Their resurfacing pads, um, they have some really, really great products that work really well too. And then um, Drunk Elephant, they also have a lot of great products. But I was talking to my esthetician about Drunk Elephant and she told me since it's not medical grade, it really isn't as good as something that you can get at a med spa. But she she basically told me that she, Drunk Elephant's not terrible, but it's something that she would keep in her gym bag, if that makes sense. So um, I do get set a lot of Drunk Elephant, which I'm so grateful for, and I love trying their products, and I found quite a few that really do work well for me. But I clearly just have way too much of it, so I am going through everything right now and just downsizing, going through things that are expired or I know for sure I'm not gonna use, and donate or get rid of those things. So I... I'm trying to just sort things in piles first and then I'll go back in and try and rearrange and reorganize under my sink and make everything more accessible. And then I did take out like, I'll show you guys in just a minute, but I think it was like five or six new skincare products that I wanted to rotate into my daily rotation for my skincare. But if you're ever overwhelmed on projects like this, start small, start in sections right now. I obviously am like taking everything out underneath my sink 
mainly because I don't have a ton under here so it's easier for me to kind of pick through organize and just like kind of stay focused okay so I'm starting to finally put things back where they belong I'm organizing my skincare slash travel skincare and products in that big clear bin to the left and it looks so much better now and I know where things are but that is definitely a bin that overflows frequently so I need to make sure I stay on top of that so it doesn't end up looking the way it did when this video first started um, but now I'm moving on to like hair care and lotions and shaving creams and stuff like that which wasn't too bad I just went through a few things that were almost completely gone that I had to toss so I know that I need to reorder those things um, but these acrylic dividers make it so easy to see exactly what you have so the far right one I have all of my hair care products the one in the middle I have like body products body lotion shaving cream stuff like that and then um, skincare to the far left okay everything looks so much better under my sink now it's time to move on to my everyday skincare drawer this is a hot mess right now <laughs> I mean it's pretty organized and like I know where things are but I can definitely do a way better job than this so that's what we're gonna do right now these are all products that I use if not every day every other day or weekly um, and I know I want to put things aside and put it underneath my bathroom sink where you guys just saw me organize and just like rotate out different skincare products so I can try new things, see what I like and whatnot. So I'm gonna purge some of this stuff, reorganize it, and we'll see what the after turns out like. And yes, judge me all you want, but I'm using a makeup wipe to wipe down this drawer and this acrylic divider on where I store my skincare. I was, I will be honest, I was way too lazy to go out and get some spray and clean it with that. So if you can tell me you never use a makeup wipe to clean surfaces in your home, especially in your bathroom, you're lying. <laughs> Okay, my skincare drawer is turning out so good. It's so much more organized, so much more functional, and I'm so excited to do my skincare tonight because I rotated in some new products that I'm excited to try. Um, but all of these products were currently in that drawer that I still love, but wanted to try something new. And then these supplements right here are gonna go in that closet, which I'll show you guys in just a minute. Okay, I just finished my side of the vanity, so I wanted to show you how it turned out. This used to be just like filled with so much skincare, so it's all organized now. It wasn't too terrible, but it definitely looks a lot better and I can find things a lot easier. And then this is like my everyday skincare. So I have like some supplements I take daily back here. And then, like I said, I just rotated out some skincare that I wanted to try, which I do very often. I love trying new skincare, so excited to do skincare tonight, but it looks a lot less cluttered in there. And then I didn't need to touch these drawers really, but uh, this is where I keep my hairbrushes and my clips. And then down here I have my extra travel bags. And then over on this side, these three drawers, I didn't show you there because I didn't need to organize these. These have already been organized and they're really easy to stay organized. I think because of 
the organizers that I use. I'll have my organizers linked down below, but this just keeps everything super clean and organized. And then, again, I didn't touch any of these drawers, but this is what I have in here, random things. And then this is my makeup bag that I just like set on top because I don't really like leaving it on my counter. It's kind of a nice one. And then down here are all my hair tools, which is like getting jammed. <laughs> but yeah, it was mainly just this cabinet underneath the sink and then my skincare drawer that I needed to go through. And then over here is Adam's side of the sink, which I'm not touching because that's his job. So we're not gonna deal with that. But we have a like linen closet right here, which we store some of our linens for our bedding and then towels. But you guys can see this is just not organized whatsoever. There's just so much random stuff in here. A lot of it is supplements and medicine for the most part. And this is where I plan on keeping it. So it's like away from the kids so that they can't reach it. But I do need to obviously go through it and purge some things that are expired, make more room for towels because we're always like squeezing them in. We have like all of them in the wash right now. But we use this shelf only for all of our linen. So ideally I would love to use like one shelf for towels, one shelf for linens, and then the rest for medicine and supplements. So this is the next project. This is the before. And I'll show you guys the after once we get started. But I ordered these really cool organizer bins from Amazon. I ordered a bunch of them. That box also has four more. And then I have two boxes by the door that have four more. So I have 16 bins like this. So I'm gonna use some of them in this closet right here. Um, I was thinking to, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna put in here, but ideally I would love to store like my tampons, some extra toilet paper, things like that in here. Because right now, this is our bathroom. Right now I just have my tampons just in this little acrylic divider on the floor right here. And I hate that they're just on the floor, so I wanna put them in that closet. If you guys remember in our last house, we had a cabinet above the toilet where I stored all my feminine products. We don't have that here. I guess we could install one, but anyway, they're on the floor right now and I know I can make room in the closet. So we're gonna do that using these bins. Maybe stay too much cause you don't understand you got me go you don't understand you got me go but sometimes I might be a bit selfish when you wait too humble might be overzealous Okay, so for this specific project I decided to take everything off of the shelves, take it all out wipe down the shelves and then completely reorganize this space. Nothing in this space was working at all. Like things were in organizers, but they were not in like like piles, if that makes sense. They were eventually, but then when we moved, things just got like thrown into random acrylic dividers and nothing made sense. So I knew I had to take everything out. It did make it a little bit easier because like I said, everything is still in organizers, but I just had to like pick through and re-decide where I wanted everything to be organized in. So this is what my bathroom looks like currently. It looks like a tornado went through it. And this is always the hard part because you're like, shoot, what did I get myself into? But I'm gonna start by spraying all of the shelves wiping them all down and then i'm going to go through all the products and try and reorganize them first before putting them back on the shelves So you'll have to let me know what you think of clips like this where this is genuinely how I organize things in this specific moment. Sometimes I'm a little bit more organized where I will put things in like piles, but for this specific project, things were just 
like a mosh posh of everything and so everything was just like all over the place so i tried my best to focus on one organizer at a time finding the things that i needed to put in those organizers and just go from there so this is exactly what i was doing you can see my exact thought process on everything i'm just like looking everything making sure nothing's expired which we did have a lot of expired supplements and products and stuff so obviously throwing those away um and then i had like a few things i wanted to donate that i knew i wasn't ever going to use but i'm just going through each like lazy susan and organizing it to the best of my ability when it comes to functionality for not only myself but for Adam as well because obviously this is his bathroom too and he uses a lot of the supplements in here too so I am just I'm very overwhelmed in this moment but once I get in the zone I'm in the zone so about halfway through these clips I'm like okay I got this the hardest part is starting a project that is the hardest part trust me it's so hard to think like Okay, I just need to do this, but the overwhelm of starting that project just sometimes hinders me from doing anything at all, and so I'll push it to the back burner. But if you start it, just start it, and I promise you, you'll start to get in the zone, and you can't just leave your counters looking like this forever, so you have to finish it. And then the finished product just makes it all so worth it in the end. So if you're like me, and there's certain areas in your home that you've been avoiding, the hardest part is just getting up and starting it. But I promise once you do that, you'll get in your rhythm and be so happy that you did. There's also a lot of trial and error too when you're organizing spaces like this. Like you're seeing me organize my tampons thinking I'm gonna keep them in these acrylic dividers and then I realized I didn't like how that looked. So I decided to put them in specific bins to hide them. Um, so you're kind of like seeing firsthand like how my brain's working and how I go about deciding what method would work better, what's more functional what's more pleasing to the eye because I love things being functional but I also love them to look pleasing to the eye like that's just how my brain works when I have spaces in my home that feel organized and they look pretty and aesthetically pleasing it just brings me so much joy and I know not everyone is like that but that's how I am and so this is just how I do things and I'm starting to put away things now onto the shelves 
and I kind of rearrange them as I go. Obviously, you don't know exactly how things are gonna fit, so you just kind of like have to do trial and error and figure out which bins fit on certain shelves. And I always try to put the things that I don't use the most on the top shelves and then work from there. But I love these bins that I got from Amazon. They're so nice and they hold a ton too. So some of the things that I didn't want seen, I put in here and then I'm gonna label them eventually. They came with labels, but I didn't really love them. So I'm gonna label them eventually. So I'm gonna use all four. You guys will see what I end up putting in them. But I did end up using all four of these for this area in our bathroom. But I do have quite a bit more bins like this that I plan to use around the house and other areas. But I'm curious which areas in your guys' home that you tend to put off that just feels so overwhelming in your head where you almost feel like paralyzed to the point where you don't do anything at all about it. I think I've talked about this in a previous video. I definitely suffer from that and I, I hate that I do because once I start a project, I'm like, gosh, why did it take me so long to do this? Because this whole video really only took me like maybe two, two and a half hours. And in the long run, it just gives me so much more peace of mind. I feel like a weight lifted. I feel just so much more productive. I'm able to find things easier and it just helps make our house run so much smoother. But I would love to know which areas in your home you've been avoiding and maybe I can film a video on those spaces for you guys next. There are so many other areas in our home that I need to organize like our junk drawer, our hallway closet, downstairs, um, and I have a playroom video coming soon. There's things that we are waiting to order for that, but that video should be coming within the next like month or so, so stay tuned for that. I'm so excited to finally tackle that space for the kids. Okay, the closet is officially done and it looks so much better now. I was able to consolidate a lot. So up here I have like one of my bigger makeup bags, my travel bags that doesn't fit in that drawer um, underneath my vanity. And then behind that, that like black briefcase looking thing is a battery holder. So I like to keep that really high up so the kids can't get it. It's like a battery organizer. And then I have an extra mirror sunscreen, rain cleaner, extra seed. Um, I like for these for travel. And then the rest is just like supplements and I organized it by like category, obviously. More supplements down here. It's like sickness stuff, Midol, and then band-aids, probiotics. And then more medicines like Tylenol, Advil, Ibuprofen, cough syrup. And then this is stuff for the kids. We do keep a lot of the stuff for the kids in the cabinet in the kitchen. So this is just like back stock for that. And then in here, you guys saw what I put in here, but I have two, well I have more, I have two more boxes. So I have a lot more of these that I'm gonna use around the house. But they came with labels, but I don't really like the labels it came with comes with a marker too. Um, and I did try writing with a marker and it makes your handwriting really good. Um, just FYI, if you plan to buy these. But I'm gonna make my own labels, obviously I have not done that yet. But um, I just have our hand towels in here and the towels I use for like working out. And then, um, what's in here? Oh, extra sheets. I have tampons in here, just like easy access because I didn't really like that they were like open and the Lazy Susan, you can see them. And then hair rollers in here, extra hair vitamins in here that I have a lot of. And then in here I have my face towels that I love and like an extra at home COVID test. And so anyway, I'm gonna label those soon so we know what's inside them. But I love that it just keeps everything looking really minimal and clean. But 
looks so much better now. I've been wanting to do this forever and it really only took me like 45 minutes. But anyway, I am filming more spaces throughout the home to declutter, but I feel like this video is already super long. So I'm just gonna dedicate this to our bathroom and do like a, this will be just like a bathroom organization and purge video. So if you need motivation in your bathroom, hopefully this will motivate and inspire you guys to do that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more content like this, more organization videos, more cleaning videos, more purging videos, Give this video a thumbs up and I will make sure to film more of those for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.